Hey, it's Maggie K. So I've been back in Canada for a few years now, and one thing I really wanna do is explore more of my home country. So while thinking about this, I kind of put together my own personal Canadian travel bucket list. I'm not sure if I'll ever actually get to do any of these, but I thought it'd be fun to just kind of put this out there and talk about some cool places around Canada. One thing I missed out on while living in Alberta was seeing the dinosaurs. I was living up in Lake Louise and I didn't have a car, so going out to Drumheller and the Badlands wasn't really a thing I could do. I was pretty stuck in the Rocky Mountains, so I would love to go back to Alberta and see the non-Rocky Mountain parts. The Canadian Badlands in Alberta is home to the largest deposit of dinosaur bones in the world. And I loved visiting the Flaming Cliffs when I was in Mongolia, which is the place where they found out that dinosaurs came from eggs. So why not have a similar kind of experience in my own country? I also just love Badlands in general, like as a terrain type. <laughs> So I think it would be really fun to just go out and explore the Canadian Badlands. Churchill, Manitoba has made a name for itself as the ultimate Arctic travel spot. And I wanna go there and do all of the things. The most popular thing are the polar bear tours. My grandma actually did one when I was like quite a bit younger and she really enjoyed it. I think I would also really enjoy it. There are the Northern Lights that you can see there, and that is a dream of mine to experience that. There are also belugas in the water at Churchill, and you can go out kayaking, and kayaking in the Arctic seems like so much fun in general, but then you add belugas in the mix, and I could like go kayaking beside a beluga. Yes, please. All of it, all of the things I can do in Churchill, I wanna do, I wanna have an Arctic experience. <laughs> when people talk about visiting Saskatchewan, they really don't. <laughs> Saskatchewan isn't exactly a tourist hotspot, but there is one very specific thing in Saskatchewan that I wanna do, and that is to visit ghost towns. There are lists online that include up to 116 ghost towns in Saskatchewan. So I think it'd be great to do like a little road trip and explore a few of them. I am a fan of very isolated and remote places. So Saskatchewan ghost towns are definitely going to be on my bucket list. I feel like abandoned places hold stories like no other place can. So yeah, I would just love to go there and try and uncover, tell, share some of these forgotten stories in abandoned towns. Next on the list is the Yukon. Midnight Sun is something I feel like I need to experience. It's just so interesting to me that our planet works in a way where Midnight Sun can exist, you know? So I want to experience it for myself Though I don't want to experience it for very long, I am definitely the kind of person that works with the sun. If the sun is up, I'm up. If it's down, I'm down. So I probably won't sleep a whole lot, <laughs> but like I said, I just want to experience it for a little bit. Also, just in general, the nature and wildlife that's in the Yukon and all of the territories really is just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful up there. I want to go and see it for myself. But the reason why I specifically said the Yukon and not just the territories in general is that I need to go to Dawson City and have the toe shot. It's a human toe inside a shot. It is weird and kind of gross and it all takes place in a typical 19th century gold rush town and I want to do it. As soon as I found out that this existed, I was like, I'm there, I need to go do that. That's on my bucket list. And if I ever actually get to do the toe shot, I am going to put it in my will that my toe is donated to the toe shot because I love weird traditions like this and I need to make sure it's kept alive. 
Newfoundland is the last on this list and kind of the odd one out. I don't have anything specific in Newfoundland that I'm like, yes, this is why I need to go there. I'm just generally into the vibe that Newfoundland gives off. I love anything with a sea-worn look to it. I would choose rocky shores over beaches any day. Also fog. Fog is my favorite kind of weather and Newfoundland has a lot of it. Like I'll just go to St. John's or hike through Grossmore National Park and like soak in the vibes. Also, I have a thing for lighthouses and Newfoundland being an island, I am positive they have lots of lighthouses for me to see. Like, there, there's nothing like super specific I, I need to do in Newfoundland, but I feel like it's a place I should be. So that is my Canadian travel bucket list. Obviously, there's a lot of other really cool places around Canada, but these were just like the first ones that popped into my head. So yeah, let me know what would be on your Canadian travel bucket list and I will see you in the next video soon. Bye.